next topic is on love. This is an age where we all, oh. yeah, <laughs> where we all fall in love and we all love to love and we all love being loved. So my first question is, uh, all you need is love is a popular saying and uh, I've been told by people that uh, <laughs> like money is not the most important thing, love is more important. If we have love, we can be together, we can be good. But I come from a school where I'm like, uh, I'm like, what? What will I and you love and if you don't have money, what will we even do? <laughs> so, so my question is, is it, is having a life full of love and not much money better or <laughs> is like going for ambition and working on our careers and ha making lots of money and security, but then maybe you don't find the right person, but you settle or whatever. So what is a trade-off? Because it is a trade-off. We don't have time to do both things like most of us don't. Uh, so, I was told uh, some… some things were going on in the WhatsApp and stuff that uh, in Hyderabad, uh, after the demonetization, huh? women are beginning to marry for love <laughs> <laughs> Women are making so much money, Sadhguru <laughs> <laughs> So, I would like uh, your definition of what is it that you're calling as love? First of all, that's another question. <laughs> like, for my personal feeling, like I don't know, I've felt love but I don't know how to define this word. I think this is a word that's… that greeting card companies came up with to market stuff. And one more issue I had with love is, because it's so untangible, when I say I love you, you say I love you, we could be I didn't completely… Say that, huh? Hypothetically. <laughs> hypothetically, like if when someone says I love you, I think maybe she means that I will give a kidney, I'll give my life for you if you're in trouble and maybe I am… when I say I love you, I'm like… No, no, she I only wanna... said I'll give my heart, never the heart. kidney. <laughs> no, but to that extent that I will do, my life is yours. When someone says I love you, they could mean that and I could reciprocate with I love you to the same person but maybe my meaning is that I really like spending time with you and you're the only person and whenever I want to go out, I want to spend time with you and but I will not give a kidney or give my life for you. <laughs> so the thing is, we just say I love you, but uh, <laughs> because it's not tangible, you never know what is the exact this thing of it. So that is one more, that's one vague conversation which will go on forever. <laughs> and I have so many questions for you and I think we're running out of no, time. No, this so. kidney love I like. Oh, you like. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me what is better? This is an answer I need. Like, can we survive with love and not in not enough money or is money important and then we can also find love, like whenever we can, if we do. See, yeah. <laughs> We… Uh, we went through this in some way in the beginning. Okay. What you call as myself right now is a body, a certain amount of thought, emo thought and okay. ideas and whatever. We will stick to this dimension. And if you go to another no, no, dimension, I lose you there. And there is a bunch of emotions. Okay. And there is life energy. Mm. Without that energy, all this wouldn't be functioning. Okay. So these are four dimensions. <laughs> okay. What you're referring to as love is a certain sweetness of emotion. Mm. The question is not about who triggered it for you. Mm. It is just that because of somebody or something, you started experiencing a certain sweetness of emotion, mm. which became so valuable at that time, you promised a kidney. Mm. Mm. <laughs> at that moment, mm -hmm. because that sweetness meant so much mm. that Actually, in Hindi, they say something, what Gurda, something, what is that? What is that, huh? Something, I will give away my kidney. Gurda, on, uh, <laughs> that same thing is said in a more okay. powerful way. Okay. <laughs> so, at that moment, I'm willing to pull my kidney out mm. and mm. give it to you, but not the hair. <laughs> that is clear, okay. <laughs> so, essentially, it's sweetness of emotion. Mm. What sweetness means is, See, if the body becomes sweet, mm. we call this health. Mm. You feel healthy because there is a certain sweetness in the body, pleasantness. Mm. Mm. Sweetness is pleasantness, isn't mm. it? Mm. You call something sweet because you say, oh, she is so sweet mm. because she is pleasant. Mm. For you, in your experience, she is pleasant, mm. so sh you say sh it is sweet. Mm. So, if your body becomes pleasant, we call this health. Mm. If it becomes very pleasant, we call this pleasure. Mm. 
If your mind becomes pleasant, we call this peace. Mm. You're feeling where pleasant, so you say, I'm peaceful. Mm. It became very pleasant, you call this joy. Mm. Your emotions become pleasant, you call this love. Mm. It became very pleasant, mm. now you call it compassion. Mm. If it is somewhat pleasant only for one person, mm. we call this passion. Mm. It became very pleasant, we call it compassion. Mm. Now, you feel like that absolute sweetness towards the tree and the air you breathe and the people, you don't even know who they are, it doesn't matter, you have pleasantness. Mm. So we say compassion. Mm. If your very life energies become pleasant, we call this bliss. Mm. If it becomes very pleasant, we call it ecstasy. If your surroundings become pleasant, we call this success. So right now what you're doing is, you're pitting s sweetness of emotion versus sweetness of the surroundings. Mm. Mm. To create sweetness of the surroundings, we need the cooperation of many forces. Mm. Hmm? Situations have to cooperate, yeah. people have to cooperate, many things have to fall into place, yeah. otherwise success doesn't happen. Mm. Pleasantness of surroundings will not happen unless there is a skill to it, there's a talent to it, there's a, a certain amount of management to it, there are many things. But the sweetness of the body, the sweetness of the mind, the sweetness of the emotion and the sweetness of your energy, must be one hundred percent your making, isn't it? Mm. <coughs> yes or no? Mm. The sweetness of the surroundings, everybody has a stake, all of them will play a role in this. But the other four dimensions, the sweetness should be managed by you. So if you are in charge of that, then you would keep this always profusely sweet. Your mind, your emotion, your body, everything, you would keep it that way. Then all this struggles wouldn't even be relevant to you. This is one dimension, money is a means to facilitate external situations, love is a means to create internal pleasantness. How can you use a bathroom spray to make uh, global warming go? Can you? I can't. But it doesn't work is, like that, I'm saying. Yeah, it doesn't. What I'm saying is, the sweetness of inside or sweetness of surroundings both require time to build that sweetness. No, 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 no. Huh? Like if I have to be sweetness successful in uh, my... Sweetness of outside needs time, yeah. energy, effort, resource. Like a relationship needs nurturing, you need to spend time See, that with is it. the different thing. This is what I'm trying to distinguish. See, love is what happens within you. Mm. This is the sweetness of your heart. Mm. Relationship is uh, sometimes it's hard work. Oh, when I'm talking <laughs> about love, I'm not talking spiritual, this is all no, relationship No, I'm not talking anything everything. spiritual. <laughs> oh, oh. There's nothing spiritual, this is emotion. Okay. See, right now, uh. you're smiling. Yeah. Is it spiritual or just a regular smiler? <laughs> spiritual <laughs> dimension, I don't understand. So that I'm is what, you ground. don't have to understand that <laughs> because you don't even have to name it that. Uh. All I'm saying is, if your body is feeling pleasant, you Just feel mind. healthy yeah. and nice. Mm. If your mind is feeling pleasant, you feel peaceful and joyful. Mm. If your emotion is feeling pleasant, you feel loving and compassionate. Mm. So, why do you want to call it spiritual, non-spiritual nonsense? Mm. There's no such thing. Mm. So right now you sit here, you have very sweet emotion, not towards anything or anybody. You're just sitting here, sweet emotions, has it happened to you? Nobody need to be there, just like that. If there is something, you share it, if there is nothing, you can sit here with a very sweet emotion. Now relationship is hard work, mm. that is external success. Mm. You have to build it, you have to manage it, there mm. are many aspects to it. Mm. Well, the other person may be looking at your external situations too, all mm. right? Mm. They're not just looking at the sweetness of your heart, mm. they're also looking at what you're wearing, what you're driving, how you are, who you are, everything they're looking at it. Yeah. So, a relationship involves those dimensions, you cannot say it is completely free of that. Well, when the Gurda thing happens, maybe little bit they will cross that. Mm. But it doesn't mean it's completely free of that, no. It's always involved, physical things are involved, isn't it? Uh, this sweetness, uh, what did you call love? Sweetness of the heart. Mm -hmm. Sweetness of your emotion. Sweetness of my emotion, if it happens with two, three people then... It cannot happen with two, three people, it can only happen within you. Ah, uh, in a… okay. It only happens within you… If it is happening within me… <laughs> no, no, three people are stimulating it. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> Three people may be stimulating it. Okay. I am asking you, do you want to be a push-start machine or a self-start machine? Self-start? Self-start means your sweetness must be turned on by you. If you want to share it, you can share it. If you don't want to share it, you don't share it. But you must be sweet for your own self, not for some… See, love is not about somebody. It's the pleasantness of your existence, isn't it? Is it not important? Forget about other people, relationship stuff. Mm. But is it not important if you sit here, you are pleasant by your own nature, somebody need not come and poke you and crank you to be pleasant? Right now, what you are talking about is, three people have to crank me to make me pleasant. A very poor machine <laughs> You remember the old ambassadors? Yeah. Always they parked down slope because morning you have to push. Now all the cars are self-start. Improvement, technological improvement or no? I am just asking you to upgrade your technology so that you self-start. If you wake up in the morning, you are full of joy and love. If somebody comes, we will share. If nobody comes, we are just fine. One more uh, question uh, related to this in a very… in a very utilitarian very basic in human level, our mind and hey, eyes haven't been… Don't, you're don't also you, human, mate. Don't you, don't you call me inhuman, <laughs> <laughs> uh, So, uh, once when I was uh, in my intermediate and this is where your hormones are going through the roof and this is mostly where you're attracted to the opposite sex or the same sex, depending on your choice. Uh, once my dad sat me down and uh, he told me, uh, Vijay, if you buy a bot bottle of water, you can drink it, you can close the cap, you can keep it half full, you can know that when I reach that place, I still have a half a bottle of water. You can drink it to the last sip, you can refill it if you want, it's always with you. But if you fall in love with a girl, she's not an object, she's a person. Uh, and unlike an object, she has her own feelings, her own, uh, her own emotions and she can develop likes and dislikes that might not suit you. She might make decisions that you might not think are in your best interest because she has her own life and she has her own choices. So it was like, what he was trying to do was, he was telling me, focus on your career now because that will always, if you work towards it, it will always pay back. And for love, once you're settled and stuff, you can spend time on it. Right now it's about career. If I was a girl, he would tell me the same thing about a boy. So it again comes back to this question about on a very real level that we we have, so, so many of us have to make these choices where do we pursue ambition with all our intensity and time and energy or do we, when you find the right person, do you try and, it's hard to find this balance though because it's very competitive these days and uh, you have to give it all to survivals uh, much. You need to work harder to beat, beat the competition and survive. Don't go on the competition <laughs> trip, I'll come to it. So, like I nurturing a relationship, <laughs> nurturing a relationship versus nurturing ambition, like this was something he said. So, I wanted to know your thoughts on that, like was he off the mark, was he off the point, was he… No, in his own way, what he's trying to tell you is, there is a time to build yourself mm. and there is a time to live. Mm. If you try to live too early, mm. then uh, life may not stay with you. Mm. You may end up mm. in a place that you, you yourself will not like after some time. Mm -hmm. So essentially he's saying, first build your life, mm. then you try to live. Mm. But if you try to live too early, it won't last and you won't have a big life, you'll have a very small life. Hmm. And uh, one more thing is, we all love, we all love being loved. I'm talking again on a relationship level, that's… that's all I know. Uh, no, no, let's settle this. <laughs> when you experience love, it happened within you or here? I know you… Uh, in the movie, if you're see, as a response. showing all those heart marks flowing this way and that way uh. in Instagram and all that, uh. but when you felt it, it happened within you or outside of it? It happened within me but as a response to uh, something. Uh, in stimulation. Uh. That's why I said, do you want to be a self-start machine 
or a push start machine. Somebody has to come and stimulate, only then you will feel sweet. So you're saying without any stimulation, I can sit here and just feel full of love and feel happy and stuff? If you're self-start. Whoa, that must be a cool place to be at, like to See, feel… it is cool It's <laughs> <laughs> a cool place to be at. We have to try and get there someday, like… <laughs> That's why in engineering. But first I have to pay rents. <laughs> First have no, to <laughs> the paying rent will not even be a concern. When yes, because you can just be but under a tree and no, be that's full not of the love. point. <laughs> it's not being under a tree. Uh. Being under a tree is fantastic, but it's not about that. See, right now small things are being made big mm. because most people don't need an enemy; they are doing fine by themselves. They are self-defeating all the time their own thoughts, their own emotions trouble them more than the world, isn't mm. it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why are your thoughts and emotions working against you? Mm. Should they be working for you or against you? Which for way me. is it? But, yeah. If they're working for you, you think earning, earning a living, paying a stupid rent and eating what you want is a big problem? <laughs> Earthworm and grasshopper is earning its living. With this big brain, you can't earn a living, what are you talking about? Earthworm because machine. such a big brain is working against you, that is the only problem. The only problem human beings have is, they got a big brain and the damn thing is working against them. If it is working for them, making a living, surviving in the world is not even an issue. That's why I feel like all problems are… Uh... Self-created. Our nature, like they didn't structure us properly, they should have done it. No, where no. The brain works <laughs> See, now we have to sit and go to enjoy. Wha <laughs> huh? See, what is a possibility? If there is a possibility, if you do not explore the possibility, it becomes your problem. Mm. That's mm. all that's happened to most people. Mm. Human being is a possibility. You are not fixed like other creatures. All other creatures' nature is fixed what they can be and cannot be. With the human being, See, we did not say a tiger being, an elephant being. Mm. We only said you, human being. Yeah. That means you know how to be. If you know how to be, will you keep your body, mind, emotion, energy in the highest level of pleasantness? Yes or no? Will you be blissed out or miserable? I'm asking if you know how to be. I would like to be blissed yes. out. Yes. So should we call you human being or uh, human animal? You are a human being, because you are the only one on this planet who has the capacity to be. That means you know how to be. If you know how to be, you will definitely be blissed out. If you are blissed out, what is the problem? Paying rent, earning a living, uh, managing relationship, is it a problem? Everything you will do effortlessly.